Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC and do everything DIY and today we have a service call follow-up for an LG Multi-V system. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So this is that same unit that we found the back compressor on and replaced it that was running on high amps. My plan for today is to actually hook up the laptop for the first time. Picked up a new tool. This is the LG MV module by LG. And specifically, this is model number PRCTIL0. This one is a hard connection between your laptop and the unit. I do have the other LG MV tool where we can, you seen it in the last video, I connected to this port here and I got a wireless connection to my phone. I was having trouble with saving data. So the purpose of today's video is to save data, record data, save the report and send it to the local rep along with the refrigerant charge that I pulled out and put in last time, which was 440 ounces. We want to start with giving them the exact information. I spoke with tech support. They could not help me. They could not help me. So what's going on is that this New, new looking compressor is running on very high amps anywhere from 25 to like 30 amps and we even seen it go above 32 amps i think at one point we even seen it at 36 which is incredible on the tag here it says that we should be running at about 17 amps which I don't know this thing is not gonna last long so we're just trying to preserve the life here it could be a lot of things but we need to get the lats information to confirm the refrigerant charge of this system when it was commissioned and take it step by step so let's go ahead and set this tool up here's the LG MV module in the back here we have a set of instructions as far as the dip switches we have how many six dip switches here and depending on the unit you're gonna set them accordingly. For the type of system that I am working on, I need dip switch four in the on position. As you can see, dip switch four is on the on position. Let's go and connect this. I got my laptop connected via USB, and I have this port on the other end. This is the one that gets connected to the outdoor unit. Here's the main board, and let's go ahead and connect this. go this way there we go all right set that up there let's turn on our LG MV software all right we got the LG MV software up this is monitoring this says data loading this says upgrade let's click monitoring fail port Eight. not sure what that is let's go ahead and put our settings in the model number how many outdoor units site name serial let's see what's going on maybe i can change this so i have to set to comp port one so i'm hoping that gets it to go Let's fill in this information and see what happens. All right, guys, this is absolutely awesome. We got the LG software running. Here we can see all the indoor units, pressure, cycles and valves, actuator info, sensors and electrical. I'm gonna give you some screenshots so you guys can see what is going on here. hard to see through here but we are in heat mode it is about 35 degrees outside it is super chilly as far as right now it actually can tell me how many amps the system is running at 24.8 25 and the issue is that our amps are super high we installed a new compressor and inverter board we came here and started it up we charged the correct amount as far as what was pulled out but we need to find out something called the lats we need to find out what that is so we're going to reach out to the local rep 
and see what that was. And the issue here is that it's running on very high amps. That's a serious problem. That's why the compressors keep going over here. And, you know, we got quite a few units here. And it's like left and right compressors are going. It's not only this, guys. We got more units down here. These are the Gen 3s. And everything here is Gen 4. Man, there's a lot of problems in this building. But we're going to record the data for about 45 minutes or so. And send that information with the amount of gas that we put in to the rep see what the charge was uh, during commission and see what they have to say about this but there's a serious problem but i know that the condition of the indoor units is playing a role here not only that we got things like this going on these aren't installed during original installation these suction line filter dryers look at that weird angle that it does i've opened up uh this before and during a compressor change out and there's no more filter in there look these things are just rusting away there's no more filter in there so they got to get rid of the casing the, the the cleaning process is over you got to cut this here cut this here and put a straight pipe yeah I, I opened this up before and i saw it's trapping oil that's got to go i'm sure it's adding on we got to clean all the units right and uh, we got to start with the basics maintenance which wasn't done here so over here we're gonna go to data on top we click the record data and then we're just gonna let it run but this is the lg mv module and this thing is super cool and it looks super professional and high tech using a laptop here and yeah that's that's pretty much it i had a little trouble getting this going we had to install the driver first then the application and we had to set the comm to one and yeah tricky stuff but it's super cool and super interesting as you can see it says communication okay saving data we're just gonna let that be and we're gonna run that report and send it over but i just wanted to make a quick video of how we set this up with the dip switches and all that good stuff if anyone wants a detailed view of how to install the drivers and the application and setting things up please let me know drop a comment below if you have any input as far as to what's going on with these units please let me know because it's a mystery we got on the phone with tech support we checked everything and there's absolutely nothing that is quote unquote wrong here and everything is operating as it should uh, it seems to me like it's gonna come down to maintenance issues and or improper installation we're gonna write their work order and send them a nice bill but we're gonna wrap it up from here if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as they come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time